and today we are uh, going to see about mode characteristics of optical fiber okay so the experiment name is mode characteristics of optical fiber so how to find out mode characteristics by using fiber optic cable and observe the lower order linearly polarized modes so low order linearly polarized modes of an optical fiber okay so lp which indicates linearly polarized modes okay so this is the experiment so after completing numerical aperture measurement we have to easily measure the values for mode for the fiber optic cable okay so this is the formula a be the core radius of the fiber optic cable so the value is 4.5 micrometer this is the constant value then we have to take a value in different uh, distance point from the aperture cord to the uh, aperture uh, hole okay numerical aperture cord to the aperture hole so by using this different distance we have to measure the four kinds of numerical aperture values okay uh, for the diameter range 1 1.5 2 2.5 ranges we have to measure the four kinds of numerical aperture value but uh, in this case we have to choose this uh, one point a point 1 1 so we know that four kinds of values already we measured that kinds of value will be choose for measuring this most of the fiber optic cable okay um the lambda means wavelength of the light signal so this is also constant 633 nanometer okay then v which indicates the mode number what is the formula v is equal to 2 pi a then numerical aperture value divided by wavelength okay so by using these values the result is 4.91 okay so we know that 4.91 means uh, we clearly say that four linearly polarized modes for the propagation of light signal so total number of modes are uh, calculated by using this formula so v square divided by 2 okay so what is the v value number of um, mode number so 4.91 okay so the linearly linearly polarized mode value is 4.91 so approximately we can we have to mention this four linearly polarized mode for propagation of light signal so we have to measure the value for total number of modes for the fiber optic cable uh, v square divided by 2 so v value is 4.91 so 4.91 square divided by 2 the final result is 12 so by using this formula we can easily calculate this value for total number of modes okay so this is the mode characteristics for the fiber optic cable then uh, here we can easily uh, say the conclusion for this uh, mode characteristics for the fiber optic cable the number of modes propagating through the fiber depends on the v number this number okay then if the fiber whose v number is less than 2.5 045 it allows to propagate single mode single mode through it okay so it is called a single mode fiber so single mode fiber means uh, the uh, mode number value we must be less than 2.045 the next for a multi mode fiber the v number is slightly greater than 2.045 but the number of allowed modes is small so that reason uh, they may be individually identified when the output of the fiber is examined okay so for the case of multi mode fiber propagation we have to fix a mode number v must be greater than 2.045 okay thank you